It's like 14 inches off the valley pan, so I hope you don't like hoods. I think you could rival a Hellcat with this. You could rival a Hellcat with this. Here at ICT Billet, innovation drives everything we do. Let's take a behind the scenes look at an engineering R&D project we've been working on, our dual port injector LT4 adapters. Let's go. So here a few months ago, we made a LT4 supercharger to an LS3 intake adapter, and we had a customer that requested a dual injector system. So we wanted to see if that would work too. So we went and it barely fits, but uh, we got it to work. And we're gonna have this uh, friend of ours actually put it on their vehicle and give it a shot and see how it works. The biggest problem we had was the space and getting two injectors to fit and the plugs to work. Uh, that was probably the biggest hurdle that we had to face with that, but you know, it, it worked out. We really would have liked to put both fuel rails together and put the one injector above the other, but there was no way to make that work in the, the space that we were allotted. So what we had to do is kind of shift the injector, you know, one to the left, one to the right, and then space out the upper fuel rail towards the middle a little bit more to basically be able to fit in that space that we had. We actually make these uh, fuel injector spacers for like an LS1 injectors to an LS3 injector spacer. So it takes up the same amount of space but we made a custom fit one so they would work for this particular application. We had to cut the fuel rails from the original design to allow for the plugs for the fuel injectors to work. Because of the plugs that plug into the fuel injector would actually hit the rail, you know, at this spacing. So we had to cut, relieve that just to allow for the plug to work. On the single injector version, we didn't have to worry about it because the plug we could set straight up towards the top and we didn't have to relieve it. But for this to work, since we have injectors on the top also, or right above them, we had to rotate the, the plug angle. So in order to do that, we had to relieve the fuel rail to allow for that plug to work. Ports do not line up with the LS. That's the reason why the, you can't use the LT4 supercharger on an LS. They're both the rectangle ports, but they just don't, they're just not in line with each other. So what we had to do was actually kind of blend the two together. And we do a basically a 3D blend tool path to uh, create from one port to the other. Well, we didn't know it was gonna work. We actually got one of those uh, Cadillac kind of like superchargers and actually put it on there just to see if there was anything different or if it was gonna work and we put it on there and it actually matched up. We, we got the supercharger prior to, but it was after we've already made these LT4 supercharger brackets. And it was just a matter of just seeing if this scene was compatible or not. But we did find out that they are compatible. I mean, really, I mean, once we had this design done, it's just a matter of machining it out and mocking it up and trying it out, see if it's actually going to work. Basically, once we get this program all finalized in Mastercam to verify, you know, we don't have any problems and, and it cuts the way we want it to cut, uh, we'll run it through Vericut and Vericut actually uses the actual G code that the machine uses. So we know for a fact it's gonna do exactly what we see in Vericut. And uh, we'll run it through that. And if there's no major issues, then it should be good enough to send out to our machines and run the first part. So here's what it kind of looks like with our adapters. We got the fuel rails with the injectors and we had to make a bracket to be able to hold the fuel rails in place. You can kind of see we're, we're kind of limited in space in there. And the bolts actually sit on top of the valley pan so that there was no way that it was gonna work with the original equipment valley pan. So we actually manufacture our own valley pans and with our own valley pans, the, the bolts are countersunk and it gives you plenty of clearance. It is a long process. I mean, uh, there was probably about a month you know, from having the idea to starting the, the design work, getting the machining figured out, and actually running the parts in the machine and then mocking it up. I mean, there's a, probably a month worth 
of work just to get all that. This whole thing was all built on the LT supercharger. I mean, we found out it does work with that Cadillac supercharger, but we haven't got into that enough to figure out as far as the pulleys and getting the belt alignments all in place. Okay. They had the tin rib. You know, everything that we dealt with on this one was uh, an eight rib. So he's actually going a little bit further into it than what we actually did. First of all, we'd have to go in there and figure out the whole belt spacing. I mean, that's gonna be the next challenge on that. Once we get into that, then we can actually open it up to other applications. Your projects inspire our innovations. Customer feedback is at the heart of our R&D process, helping us refine and deliver the parts that you need. Check out our latest innovations to max your swap at ictbella.com and stay tuned for more to come.